has always been a source of intrigue and a healthy dose of culture for Australians. But art is no longer just paintings of eyebrowless women and cans of soup. Art is not just for looking at anymore. In fact, it's an entire sensory experience. Michael Candy is a talented young Brisbane artist whose unique pieces give art a life of its own. His work is unique, bizarre, and often abstractly beautiful. Kinetic art is a modern form of sculpture that uses electronic or mechanical elements to bring a physical object to life. From a very young age, I was always tinkering and taking objects apart and seeing how they worked. So I guess that process of discovery and, and destruction really brought me a long way. And at a young age, I wanted to be an engineer. And then I sort of discovered how boring and bland engineering was. So in high school, I was studying art and um, discovered art was a lot more fun and a lot more freedom with, with what I could do in it as opposed to engineering. So I started to research kinetic artists. We're here today at the QUT workshop where we'll witness Michael creating one of his mechanical masterpieces. I'm creating a skateboard for an art show called I Used to Skate Once. It's an annual show with works based around or literally on skateboards. So um, today I'm going to try and make a skateboard that rattles the trucks mechanically uh, as a representation of speed wobbles or something like that. It's a labour of love, but Michael's passion and obvious talent aren't going unnoticed. While most visual arts students struggle to get their work exhibited, Michael's had his work in five shows this year. How does kinetic art fit into the modern art world? Kinetic art fits into the modern art world much like any other form of new media art um, in that it provokes thought and ideas in interactive and um, m more engaging manner than just a static object, I suppose. So how do you manage to balance work and study? Um, I guess they're pretty closely tied together given what I do at university and what I do outside of university. Um, I'm, at the moment I'm studying industrial design as well as visual art and um, for me both degrees coincide very well because they're both about creating forms and shapes for a real world environment. University provides me with a lot of great facilities and tools which I would not be able to afford or have access to. And when I get offered a show or, or enter a show that is outside of university, I'll often use the university's facilities to construct a work. Is there much of a market to sell your pieces? Uh, apparently not. Um, my works are not very commercial in a sense. They're um, they're they're very, uh, very they're installation based, or um, they'll have forms and shapes that aren't necessarily safe to have just in a household. So this is the finished product of the skateboard. Uh, yeah, this is the skateboard you guys are filming me working on, and uh, basically it's just a. A representation of speed wobbles or rattling your trucks. It's powered by two lantern batteries and um, has a giant switch. So if you push the switch on, what are your plans for the future? Art is a very difficult um, career path to follow through, as I'm very quickly discovering. But um, I prefer not to think of it as a career and more of an exploration of how I think and how I develop. I would like to make it as far away as possible from the commercial art world <laughs> and sort of reach into a more conceptual art world where you're not required to make products, where you can create works that are 
there just to exist and don't need to serve anyone in an aesthetic function.